What's up, wake up, wealth up, everyone. I am your favorite mompreneur, Melanie Williams of Boutique House Enterprises, LLC. And today is a Freedom Friday. I want to know how you guys did. Um, if you're following any of my pages, um, this is on my YouTube right now. So if you're following my uh, Facebook fan page, then you've been catching my lives this week where I, we've been doing a reflection on... Uh, the things that we accomplished the day before, what is it that we set out to, and what, are, what has been our greatest accomplishment. And, I, you know, I define that your greatest accomplishment could be something big for you and small to somebody else, but it doesn't matter. Your accomplishment is yours. So um, I want to continue in that. Today I, I didn't do a live, but I'm doing this video because I want to post it in several different places. And right now my options for... Um, doing that it's better if I just record this here on my phone and then post it up where I want it so today is Friday I am still in the lovely Louisiana I am safe I am not in an area that has been greatly affected though so, um, lots of people from those areas are now traveling here to where I'm at so it's pretty busy and um, not as quiet <laughs> in the hotel I'm in now, but that's fine. Um, so today, um, I'm going to reflect on what my greatest accomplishment was for yesterday. And for me, that was doing my live videos for the third time, for, you know, consecutive. I, the three consecutive days. For me, that was um, my greatest accomplishment for yesterday. I wanted to... I wanted to do that. I wanted to be able to do a live today, but because I wanted to uh, post this in different ways for today, um, I'm not live. I'm recording it, and you guys will be able to see it and leave comments. Um, if you're seeing one of my videos for the first time, please put in the comments a number one. Put the city and state that you are um living in i want to know how far i reach you know you guys can see my board back here it says be on purpose um i brought this board from home it, it comes off of here really easily but it sticks great and um i write messages on it for myself in the mornings well in in the evening so i can see it in the morning and yesterday this was my message to, for today to be on purpose so i got up this morning on purpose well, of course, I didn't get me up, but my purpose when I got out of this bed was to get my workout done this morning, and I did. I accomplished that. I wanted to um, get some things done early before I went in this morning, and I was able to do that as well. So what is it that you accomplished from yesterday that is your greatest greatest accomplishment from yesterday. What is, what is it that you accomplished that um, you want to share? Please put that down in the comments. I would love to see, um, first of all, who has been following since the first day we did our reflection and what it is that you're finding out about um, yourself in these, in these few days. How is it that you operate? What have you found out about yourself? What what I'm, I'm hoping that this exercise has made you think a little more in detail and be broader with the things that you hope to accomplish and what you consider successes for you. Um, I've been reading this book here. Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice. It's uh, Dennis Kimbrough and Napoleon Hill. And I'm just going to read something out of here that I, I'm holding the phone in one hand and operating with the other hand. So I'm just going to read something out of here. I got the page flip. I want you guys to, to think about as you continue to reflect. Don't just stop. Keep doing it. Foster good goals. Let me see. I got the page. Do, 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 do. Is this the one I want? Uh, okay. 
That's not a page. Hold on, I got a few pages in here, Ben. It's kind of hard doing it with one hand. Is it this one that I wanted to read? Do, do, do. No, it's not that one. I got this, y'all. I got this. I got this. Let me see. Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. Okay, so um, I was thinking about this yesterday because another goal that I had was to be relaxed enough going to bed last night to be able to get up this morning and do those things. And um, this just made me think of this from this book. So I want to read it for you guys. Um, it says, when F, wherever you find prosperity and leadership, you will find the individual who has mastered the following qualities. And number one happens to be relaxation. A relaxed body is a powerful body. A relaxed mind, likewise, is a powerful mind. If you are to be creative and receptive to new and bold ideas, then you must take time for these ideas to present themselves. Plan daily relaxation time. Choose a favorite room or chair that will help set your mind at ease. As you learn to relax, you will receive special instructions, ideas that are handed to you through infinite intelligence that will clear the path to your goals and objectives. Um, the second one here is visualization. A composer thinks about music, an artist thinks about colors, a writer thinks about stories and words. If you take one idea and visualize and emotionalize it, you will be astounded by the results. Number three is affirmation. I do affirmations every day when I get up. Um, I do them throughout the day sometimes, but definitely every morning when I get up, I have some that I've written out for myself. Um, strong authoritative commands stated repeatedly will build new positive habit, habit patterns of thought. Number four is take advantage of ideas as they come. Intuitive thoughts are fleeting, ephemeral, and transient. These thoughts run contrary to your habitual reasoning. Brief flashes of inspiration can occur without warning. Be prepared to record your ideas. So, um, you know, I, I tell you guys all the time, write down goals, write down your visions, write down your thoughts. I keep a notepad and a paper and a pen and on the side of my bed, on the side of my bed, even when I'm at home, because uh, sometimes in the middle of the night, I have thoughts and visions of great things that I want to do. And sometimes I can't sleep until I write them down. But once you write them down, you can um, better plan out how to get to that. And then sometimes you need to write it down because it's bits and pieces of things that you are going for coming together for you. And sometimes you don't always um, you don't always know how those pieces fit together. But if you write them down and then you can go back and read them, you can often put them together in that way. Um, it says. Even during non-relaxing moments, a creative person, one who has learned to listen with his inner ear, makes a point of always having a pad and pencil nearby. Many good ideas have been lost because of the inability to transfer them to paper. Because let's face it, we forget. And sometimes those things that come to us in those strangest moments are things we need to remember. Number five is evaluate your ideas. Once you have finished brainstorming, become, become selective. Decide which ideas are sound and implementable. You will realize that each idea breeds additional ideas. A few moments of introspection will foster enough possibilities to last a lifetime. When you learn the secret of unlocking your inborn creativity, your mind will begin to function in a natural, spontaneous manner. It will rid itself of any inhibitions and, and effectiveness and energy will gently will greatly increase. There are huge rewards to be gained by mastering the creative thought processes. So I hope, guys, that in re this reflective exercise that, you know, writing down a few things that you wanted to do or or not writing them down, but writing down the things that you did accomplish 
in the day that um, were good for you, that you felt were great for you, helped you to, you know, unlock that inner, I don't know, that, that, that inner go out and do it, you know? I can't think of the words for that right now. I'm actually very sleepy. I'm going to go sleep now. But um, it's actually late <laughs> for me here. But I wanted to get this video out so that I could um, put it up on uh, my different social media pages. But also so that you guys could continue with the reflection, continue with, you know, searching within you and discovering those different things, those different um, ideas that you have, those different goals that you have that you want to accomplish so that you can get out there and put them, put, you know, put some action to getting them done. I hope that's what's up so you can wake up and get your wealth up until next time. I forgot to turn on my do not disturb. I got some blinging going on. Um, stay humble on your journey. And remember, it's impossible to fail, but always possible to be greater than the day before. Till next time, guys.